Hello everyone, I'm meteorologist Charlie Ironmonger. Today is a first alert weather day as we have got high heat and humidity again stretched across eastern North Carolina. In fact, the National Weather Service in Moorhead City has issued an excessive heat warning for all areas shaded in this darker pink color, kind of a, uh, a light magenta, if you will. Regardless, it is going to be in effect until 7 p.m. tonight as air temperatures cruise into the mid to possibly upper 90s this afternoon. We've got your high Set at around 97 degrees could occur between around 3 to 4 p.m. But we are also tracking a round of thunderstorms that will be rolling in later on tonight. Those thunderstorms could cross I-95 as early as around 5 p.m., but I think more of the activity is going to save itself until we get to around maybe 7, 8, 9 p.m. tonight. And then folks along the coast likely seeing those showers show up anywhere from 9 all the way to around 1 a.m. So some of those raindrops will be lingering with us, uh, but again, it's going to be hot out there. Also looking at some activity in the tropics. Really quickly want to go over what we're seeing uh, as of uh, about noon. This area of low pressure, this is light. Small disturbance really, not even a full low pressure system yet, but this disturbance is expected to continue to work its way pretty much westward across the Atlantic Ocean. But over the next seven days, very low chance of showing any signs of major tropical development. It does have a chance, but that chance set right now at just 10%. Let's focus in on the other system. Right now, this disturbance you can see kicking up quite a bit of moisture uh, right along the coast of Africa there. It is expected to work its way off into the Atlantic within the next seven days where it has a 30% chance of tropical development. Again, next names up on the list are Emily and Franklin. We'll see if either of those systems can gain those names, but Right now, we've got our eyes on some frontal systems that are going to be moving through eastern North Carolina here in the short term. Planning on seeing this cold front move in later on tonight, giving us not only a cool down from today's excessive heat, but we're also anticipating a little bit of some rain rolling in and maybe I'm underselling it there with a little bit. We are anticipating strong to possibly severe storms later on tonight. Severe wind gusts will likely be the main threat we are faced with, but the tornado threat is low, particularly for areas uh, closer to the Virginia line. As further south you go, the lower that tornado risk gets. But the good news is we are looking at a high pressure slowly starting to push that cold front out to sea. That won't fully happen though until we get into the weekend. Until then, we are going to have to deal with some scattered showers predominantly along our coastline here, uh, not only for your Wednesday, but through your Thursday and Friday as well. By the time we get to the weekend, though, things are not only looking sunny and dry, but we're also going to be fairly comfortable. Highs around the 90 degree mark with overnight lows near 70 degrees. That means I'd say manage manageable humidity but we're not looking at the same kind of heat index numbers that we are faced with today, which could read anywhere between 110 to 115 degrees. Thank you very much for tuning in to your first alert forecast online. I'm meteorologist Charlie Ironmonger, and I hope you all have a great day.